Because how many people here, like when you found out they were doing a a live action, were like, how are you going to do that? Yeah. So, I mean, the things, all the things that they have to check off to get it right are going to be fascinating to watch. Um, Luffy's stretching. That's like, that's very basic to One Piece. It happens all the freaking time. How are you going to do it? I need a really loud and warm welcome for Colleen Clickenbeard. Bringing up my purse with me. Yeah, it's all, we're all family. All right. Hi, guys. How's everybody? <laughs> there is no way I'm not kicking this over. <laughs> So Colleen, I'm very excited. I am a new straw hat. Um, I just got to Alabaster. Oh. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> the community um, went so hard for me to start it yeah. um, that it felt like I was being indoctrined into a church. Yeah, yeah. It's the, we're faithful. We are the faithful. We need some kind of um, symbol, like a straw hat symbol with your hand. I, I, oh, All like hail. one that you can like signal to other people? Yes. <laughs> Is there one like secretly that I don't know? Are you a fan? Are you a fan? Is this this? <laughs> we'll make one up. Um, so when you first started One Piece, did you think it would get this big? I mean, we knew going in that it was it was a big deal. Um, there was a, a lot of hoopla around it, so we all knew that it was something that we wanted to be a part of, and we were all super nervous about auditioning. Um, but I don't think we had any concept that it could possibly be this long of a project um, and that it would get as intense as it has. So no, really. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm excited to get there. Um... Yeah, you're baby. I'm a baby. I am a baby, you guys. Um, But don't worry. A lot of these questions, the heavy (laughs) straw hats have given me. Uh, um, And this first question is one that I have. Um, What do you think the one piece is? (laughs) Um, You won't like my answer. (coughs) Actually, my answer has tiny bits of spoiler in it, so I'm trying to... it, everyone spoiled everything for me. But for you guys, too. Like, I don't want to spoil much, but... Um, oh. <clears throat> I, uh, I've always liked Mike McFarlane's answer to that, that uh, at the end of the series, Luffy finds a, the treasure chest, and he opens it up, and there's a big red button, and he pushes it. He's like, what's this? And pushes it, and we start back over at episode one. But that's Mike McFarland's answer, um, which is better than mine. I want the One Piece to be like a spaceship, like a ship, but it can travel further. Like there are elements of that that we get a little bit in the later seasons that it makes it not completely out of the realm of possibility. And I think it would be so cool to have like that whole other frontier and space pirates. <laughs> Luffy hasn't traveled space yet. Right. What if we find out it's in like the Star Wars universe or something like that? <laughs> I'm sure at any point I'm going to be getting a cease and desist from Oda being like, just stop <laughs> talking about space pirates. It's not a thing. He's like, I, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> I've been that's not anywhere tired. close to what I'm doing. Um, so <laughs> talk to me about the process of becoming Luffy. He's such a defined character. Um... And he's so lovable, and you can hear it in the acting. I um, I just finished Arlong Park, you guys, and there's a scene where, like, he brushes off Nami's yeah. um, haters who are, like, trying to talk bad about her. He's like, whatever, she's part of my crew. And I was right. like, I love him. Yeah, yeah, he's fantastic. He's he's the most live-in-the-moment live protagonist in all of anime because most anime has all of these tortured individuals um, who are like plagued by their past or who are so wound up by the future that they can't really concentrate on what's happening in the present and enjoy their moments and uh, and he's just the exact opposite of that he just lives in the moment exactly and even though he has a goal it never actually occupies his mind while he's 
doing the thing he's doing. He's just doing what is right or what he wants to do. Uh, and it's so lovely and what we all want to be, you know? And I think it does make him concentrate more closely on his friends, but also just be more accepting of who people are because he's never thinking, I wish you were something else, unless it's like a truly evil person. He's always like, you're funny and like just just welcoming to everybody. So I just, I, I love him. I adore him. Well, that beyond Luffy, do you have a favorite straw hat? <laughs> it changes all the time. Yeah. In the earlier episodes, it's Chopper. Uh, and then when we get to the Usopp uh, Sniper King area, it's Usopp. Uh, currently, it's Brooke, but really, it's Luffy. I love that. <laughs> I, right now, I'm a Usopp fan. Yeah. Um, and everyone's like, early on? And I'm like, yeah, I like him. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's charming and lovely, I, but you will be a Brooke fan eventually. Really? Everybody is. Everybody is. Is that true? Yeah. I love it. Um, which crewmate relationship do you like the most? Oh. Um, I love the little bro relationship that, that Luffy and Usopp and Chopper have, and that kind of expands every now and again to incorporate somebody like Carrot or um, the different people who come in and they just think are hilarious. Brooke, a little bit. Um, but I love that that camaraderie of we're just big, dumb idiots together. Um, and they're, they're so fun, and they're so, like, just enjoying whatever is happening. And I like the in sync, the unison, like, crazy monster flaps that they do. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I guess that's my favorite. And I forgot to ask, cause, because my name is Frankie. Do you love Frankie, I too? do <laughs> love Frankie. I love to see what Frankie's new designs are. Like, every time there, we get a reset and the whole design happens, he's the one that I look at to see what they did. Yeah, that's what I love to hear. And Patrick Seitz is a genius. I yeah. love him. I, I think um, some of the... What I really love, even looking at when it started, it is the most inclusive, yeah. creative character design I've ever seen. I yeah, really like it. it's super cool. Um, so what's your favorite arc? Uh, for a long time, it was Thriller Bark. But now that we're in the higher reaches, um, it's like whatever is happening. So Whole Cake happened, and I was like, this is the best arc. And then Wano happened, I'm like, this is the best arc. Um, and I'm still there. So at the moment, it's Wano, but I'm absolutely positive it's going to be whatever's next. I love that. Um, on the piggybacking off of that, which one made you the most emotional so I could prepare myself? <laughs> It's moments. It's not arcs. It's moments. So the well, ah, spoilers, y'all. Um, I'm Those just gonna say individual words: Mary, <laughs> Usopp, Ace. <laughs> see, I see. It. Where do you guys love this? This is, it makes this. me so sad every time. Right, and then Sanji. So yeah, it evolves. This, this, but this is what I mean. The community yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, yeah. have built. <laughs> We're um, all yeah. there. <laughs> it's like you, you don't yeah. meet someone and you have inside jokes. I mean, how does that feel? No, this is why recording something like this in the age of social media is awesome. It's like the only good thing about social media is that <laughs> we are all totally on the same page and we're all hyping each other. Um, so even though you get, you can get mad at spoilers all you want, but the spoilers just hype you to yeah. see whatever it is you got spoiled about. I want spoilers all the time and only for this show. Um, I, I think it makes us a community in a way that I don't feel is really there for any other series. I, my hero academia sort, sort of is the, a little bit the same, um, but it's, no, it's nothing tops One Piece. Um, we're all in it. And I think we all struggled together. It was like, like the high school relationship that you didn't know if it was going to succeed. It feels like that, you know? Like we, we went through the time where it was like, how come nobody loves this the way we love this? Uh, and then now we're there and everybody loves it and you're like, I told you you were going to love it. Uh, and it just, we all have... Like, this common language and it's so wonderful to see people come up to the table and I can have the same conversation over and over and over again all day long and I don't get bored because each time it's us, the two people on the same page going, yes, that. Um, I told my friend about it. 
And he said he didn't want to watch it because it was a thousand episodes. And I told him, you have to watch it. And then he finally watched it, and now he can't get enough of it, and he's got a tattoo. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what we do. And it's an excellent community. No one ever shames me because I just started. They're like, welcome. <laughs> welcome wherever you are. Yeah, and I think it's just in the spirit of Luffy. Yeah. Um, what I love most about One Piece is um, the backstories of each character yeah. and the villains. They're all sad. Yeah, but what, what's your favorite? Oh, they're all sad. They're terrible. <laughs> like, everybody's got this tragic backstory except <laughs> Luffy who's like, I'm in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> but... Each, every time somebody comes in, it's like, okay, what's your trauma? And Luffy will fix it. Yeah. Um, I, th I think I, probably, I'm going to say Brooks, just because Laboon is like my favorite thing ever. Um, and yeah, Brooks is one, maybe the most tragic, mm -hmm. if you really think about it. He doesn't present it in that way, but it is kind of the most tragic. And um, I loved, I love Laboon so much, like so much. I love that. Um, so, who's your favorite side character? Foxy. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I know that you guys like the villains where I fight for 50 episodes. I don't <laughs> like those villains. That hurts. Um, so, the villains I like are Foxy <laughs> and um, uh, Mr. Two. Like, I like the ones that are silly. Yeah. I, I love that the villains, um, Luffy doesn't like to like, Dispose. I'll say that word instead of the villain. So they always come back. Um, I forget his name. The um, cloud who can detach himself. Oh, <laughs> buggy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting there. Yeah, said, did you say clown or cloud? The clown, clown who can the detach clown. himself. Yeah, yeah, is buggy. yeah. Um, and I love seeing him come back every time. And like, and Mike is so funny. Yeah, and he's like failing his way up. Yes. Yeah. So he is. That is exactly what's happening. And the guy who uh, does the dub voice of that character is the main ADR director for most of the show. Just no so you know. Way. Yeah. See? Everything's connected. Everything's I think that's connected. the family aspect that creates such an excellent community because yeah. it's the tragic characters that you're like, I want to connect with. Yeah. There's, this like hero that is growing, but still, you know, you keep Luffy at his core, accepting and open and welcome. And you always find the little nuggets of something that happened like 50 episodes ago or 200 episodes ago. Is this just going in and out? Uh, you find those characters <laughs> uh, that, or, or anything that, that has happened like hundreds of episodes past that didn't pay off until like right now and that's just the genius that is Oda of like oh you brought that all the way back around we didn't know but now we know I love that I love that too I, it, I keep on hearing about it and that's the best part yes and I love that is this worth using what do you guys think okay yeah okay um this question is actually from straw hat goofy I love him yeah he's <laughs> Boy can dance. His his uh, videos lately are like just all dancing. Yeah. It's like he's decided he's going to be a dancer. He is the bug. He yeah, be. he's <laughs> the fantastic. Bug. Um, he asked me to ask you: Would you rather Luffy's final showdown be with Blackbeard or Eames or Emu? Am I saying the name right? Emu? You guys are so nice. If I was in a My Hero Academia panel, they would crush me. I don't, I don't read ahead in the manga. Okay, okay. So I don't think I know enough to answer that question. What do you guys think? So let's do hands. Um, who would prefer that the final showdown be with Blackbeard? That's what I've always kind of assumed. Okay. And then what about, was it Emu? Yeah, who, hands up for Emu. Okay, okay. A little bit who do you guys think? Because that's not who I was thinking. Neither of those two. Huh? Aka, you think Akainu? Who do you think? Well, I'm not saying. Oh, oh, she's not saying. <laughs> that's a popular answer. Okay, okay. That's, yeah. That is a popular answer. I love it. Um, okay, so you have children. I have you, one child. You have one child? And now a dog. We and now a dog. Do you see any similarities with like Luffy and your characters <laughs> and your children? <laughs> he, um, <laughs> that's hard. Uh, no. 
uh, he loves Luffy. He hasn't watched the show yet because he just got to the age where I'm like letting him um, because it was super violent and I just didn't, wasn't there yet. Um, but he's there now and I think we're going to start watching it together. We watched one episode. Um, and he loves the voice and he loves the like the look of Luffy and we talk about him all the time and I just straight up stole the um, the episodic like plot lines as bedtime stories because I'm <laughs> I'm not creative <laughs> so I was just like regurgitating what was happening in the booth um, and so he's he's down he's very into it uh, but I don't think. I don't think anybody lives in the moment like Luffy does. I don't know anybody who... I, I told Sonny Strait... Hello. Uh, I told Sonny Strait, who plays Usopp, that he is the one who reminds me the most of Luffy out of all of us. Um, but I, that's he's a pretty special guy. So. That's, that's interesting because he plays characters that yeah. are scary. Yeah. Uh, by nature. Or scared. He yeah. plays a lot of scared characters, yeah, and that's, that's not who I mean Luffy by, is. Like, yeah. Kind of scary, like they're scary. He's not scared by, by anything. He's just totally. You could switch, actually. You're more important. It's, no. it's, <laughs> I don't know that that's true, but. Um, he, yeah, he, he lives in the moment and he is so um, fun and excitable and open and loving and accepting in the way that Luffy is. So of all the people, I'd say Sonny is the most like him. Do you, does your son know that you're Luffy? He does. He's a little too into that. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. But like he told somebody at school recently that he could sign something for them and it'd be kind of like... I was signing it. <laughs> but I like this kid's style. <laughs> I was like, bro, don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. <laughs> also, your, your friends don't know who that is, so stop it. Um, if Luffy wasn't a pirate, what other career do you think he would have? <laughs> Man, what else would he be satisfied by? Um... Like he he couldn't be stationary. Yeah. Um, maybe like a bounty hunter. Yeah, I was thinking cowboy. On the, yeah. On the other side. A space pirate. A space pirate. <laughs> he wouldn't have to worry about drowning in space. A chef. He loves food. food. Critic. He wouldn't make anything. He would eat the ingredients. This is not. That's not a viable option. I, I like the food critic. Uh, food critic. Yeah, a traveling also one. Also, not a viable. Vi like you just shove it down into your stomach, <laughs> and that you don't they bypass the mouth altogether. Like he doesn't <laughs> taste food. He right? doesn't. No, all food is created equal. Um, so, did this role help you with any other roles that you're playing? Because you do so much. I think it actually hurt me. <laughs> um, I think doing this role, which is so iconic, uh, and and it being so like fan forward, um, makes it very difficult for me to play boy voices in anything else without somebody being like, "That sounds like Luffy." Um, so, I think he's kind of ruined me for playing other boys. Uh, but it does, the voice does kind of help me warm up for lower voiced, smooth uh, women. So if I, like, if I have any kind of, this is the voice that I have to do, I'm doing a commercial, then I warm up in the car with Luffy singing to the radio uh, because it gets all of the gunk out of my throat. So that's how Luffy helps me. C commercially, Luffy helps me. But I'm ruined for all for all anime characters, other than girls, I think. I love that, though. Like, you're Luffy, and it's so long it. and beyond got. reproach. <laughs> um, so this is my final question. Um, in the meantime, while you're answering, if the audience has questions, we're going to open it up to the floor. Please um, begin to line up behind this microphone. Um, this one is just one I was wondering after I saw your name. Um, and you can keep your secrets here. Um, <laughs> Are you a pirate? Am I a pirate? Like, am I a pirate or a ninja? Or am I a pirate? Are you like in, like, clinking beer? Oh, yeah. Am I truly a pirate? <laughs> Are you actually yeah. a pirate? You can tell right. us and we will not tell, tell anyone. <laughs> My name would lend itself to yeah. that. Or descended to a pirate. I, right? <laughs> I am the least piratey person that you've ever known. Like, I, Luffy is my exact antithesis. So uh, I'm going to go with no, but I bet my ancestors were. Yeah. Yeah. That's full circle then. You right? get to be one of the... I think he's more famous at this point than Blackbeard. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
Um, oh, excellent. We have a bunch of questions. So um, let's please keep it to one question per person. Um, and yeah, I'm just here to moderate, and it's all for you. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, this microphone's off. Is it off? Okay, oh, here, let me. It's just low. It's on? Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just take it off and see if it works better. There you go. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah, now it's on, on. <laughs> it's just not omnidirectional. Okay, my question is, Luffy versus Urza, both in their strongest form, who do you think would win? Luffy. Ooh. 100%. Uh, and Urza would hate him. But <laughs> Luffy would love her. He would totally want her on his crew, 100%. Um, hi. Um, I was wondering, um, the live action Netflix is coming up soon. So I'm curious, um, they're, they're going to be doing like probably like the early parts of like One Piece first. So I'm wondering like if there's like a moment in the first part of One Piece that you're most excited to see in live action in terms of like Luffy, a fight, like, or just like an emotional moment. There's a lot of stuff. It would like, be in like your top three if that would cause be Because how many people here, like when you found out they were doing a, a live action, were like, how are you going to do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, the things, the, all the things that they have to check off to get it right are going to be fascinating to watch. Um, Luffy's stretching. That's like, that's very basic to One Piece. It happens all the freaking time. How are you going to do it? Um, Shanks. And the sea beast? How are you going to do that? <laughs> uh, I want to see Luffy come out of a barrel. I would like to see that. You said you warm up by singing with Luffy's voice. Don't can even. You... Do not. <laughs> you and I can be friends or we can be enemies. <laughs> you make the choice. In that case, can I do a different one? What'd you question? say? Can I do a different question then? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, who's your favorite of the supernovas of the, uh, the well, others? I heard Luffy and Supernova. What'd you actually say? Yeah, who's your favorite of the uh, other supernovas, the other um, worst generation members? Oh, 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 I like Kid. I'm wearing a law hat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> wrong answer. Their dynamic right now with the three of them is hysterical. And I think Justin Cook is so good. I mean, so is Matthew, obviously. But uh, Justin playing kid is just, he cracks me up. All right. Well, that's the lowest all microphone. All the way over. All right. So uh, Mayumi Tanaka just recently said that when One Piece ends, she's going to retire. Would you think about retiring after One Piece or are you planning to go on after Luffy ends his adventure? Um, that's funny. I, I mean, it depends on where we are. Like, how, what are we talking? Are we talking five years, 10 years? What are we talking about? I'm 43. So um, you give me 10 more years and I'm, I might be thoroughly wrecked by this voice. Uh, but it kind of just makes you good for commercial work. So I don't know. Maybe I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I won't stop coming to conventions as long as you guys will come and talk to me. Maybe, you, maybe everybody will get over that I play Luffy and I get to play boy, boy voices again. Hi. Uh, so I, I also am uh, not fully caught up with One Piece. I just finished Dress Rosa, so maybe Akino has been dealt with. I don't know. That one was fun, but, though. <laughs> but um, uh, what is your favorite uh, devil fruit power? Uh, selfishly and stupidly, probably the door door fruit. Um, just because, like, we all want teleporting powers. That's what we really want because That's I, fair. you know, but uh, I am also a mom, so uh, Robins would be pretty great. Oh, yeah. Uh, be nice to have lots of hands. Um, man, Lucy Christian has a great answer to that, and I forgot what it was, but I won't steal it anyway. So. So it makes sense in my mind that like the final battle would be against the Cross Guild, but what what would be your opinion on that? The Cross Field? Cross Guild. Oh, the Cross Guild? The manga, no. uh, not there. Oh, okay. I, uh, I don't read the manga, and like my intention is to wait and then read all of it and then watch all of it. Okay. Um, then who is your like favorite of the of the monster trio other than Luffy? Like, 
who's your favorite between Sanji or Zoro? Like, who should be the right hand man? <laughs> Is Sanji up there like that? I guess Zoro? Zoro's so oh, cool. Oh, I need to catch up. <laughs> Zoro's so cool, and they gave like the the more recent stuff with him too. Like they gave him such cool stuff to do. Uh, Zoro, yeah, I, I re- that's really shocking to me because Zoro know, is like so awesome, yet. and he's like yeah, he has a, a knife in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he gets even cooler. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, who's your favorite of the Mink Tribe? This is just going to be a favorite. Like, yeah. what's my favorite pudding? Who's who's the favorite of the what? Of the mink tribe. Oh. You know, the, the anthropomorphic. Animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Name them. Uh, let's see. Wanda, um, Carrot, Dogstorm, Cat Viper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like Cat Viper, but I'm going to have to go uh, with Carrot. I, I, I liked all of them. They were They were all very, like unique and cool and I loved the Gara stuff like I love I love the I I really get into the the way people use that language to make it a character um it's really fun but I wanted Carrot to be a straw hat yeah I also I I, I forget how to pronounce his name but like Kellen's Kellen's character which I absolutely like that, that is my favorite performance of his where he's playing the <laughs> Skeeter dude and being a one is like allow me to like like Rough you over there, like so. Like, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, okay, this is my favorite. I've got They're on. pretty cool. Yeah. Five minutes. Okay. What is your favorite episode? <laughs> I told you, favorite. <laughs> um, I cannot spoil things, so I'm just gonna say a number. One thousand fifteen. Can I have a different question now. <laughs> I'm sorry, we only have one minute. 1015, but you will see the animation is absolutely out of this world. Like it'll blow your mind. If you're not there yet, it's gonna it it's insane. And no, it's, I'm on season thirteen. You're on what season is that? What episode is that? I don't know seasons. Um, y'all, this is so daunting. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering uh, Jesus. You could pull it up. Somebody, yeah. somebody okay. fix that stand. It's driving me out. It's absolutely crazy. Can you tighten it? Uh, yeah, I was wondering, who does Luffy hate more? Like, who's his main villain, Blackbeard or Akainu for what he did to Ace? Does, does Luffy even think that way? Yeah. I don't think he thinks that way. Um, he lives so totally in the moment. I don't know that, like, he really has revenge on his mind it doesn't that that never he never talks about it you know i don't i don't know that he has a nemesis but who would you like see like facing him in the end like between those two yeah between those two um i don't ah i trust in oda (laughs) whatever he has planned i i guess i had always thought blackbeard but i'm clearly everybody has my emotions wrapped up in this I don't know. Um, Whatever Oda says. So unfortunately, this is the last question. <gasps> Sorry, guys. I will be at my table, though. I was just going to ask. Um, so if you guys go downstairs to the exhibit floor, floor, I don't know why I can't speak. It's because of you. <laughs> You're amazing. Um, and Colleen will be there. I will be there. And yeah, you guys can speak to her, ask questions as well. All right. Last question. <laughs> oh, did, can, exactly. You're it. Yeah. Okay. It better not be my favorite pudding flavor. <laughs> Okay, so you said that comment about not talking about songs. I wanted to ask about the Baka song in Skypea, <laughs> especially like playing off of Mayumi Tanaka. Like, have you ever talked to her? Like, she's a blessing to humanity. You're also a blessing to humanity. <laughs> All of your other voice roles are just awesome. And I'd love to imagine how you would have played off each other because those songs, both versions, are like my happy songs. If I need a <laughs> serotonin boost, I just listen to Luffy singing about idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I love when those clips pop back up. Um, no, I have never met her, never talked to her, never met Oda. Um, that's just not a not a door that has been opened for me at any point, but I would love to. Um, I think she's a genius, and I absolutely, every time I'm about to record a Luffy line, I listen to what she does, and I try to do justice to that. If she does something in a funny way, I try to 
to mimic the funny way she's doing it um, because I, I think she's so good and I want that to translate to what you guys are getting to hear in English as well. So it's absolutely my job to bring what she's doing to life for English speakers. Thank you well, so much. Thank you all for attending. This is such a big room. Let's give it up for Thanks, Colleen. You guys. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. This is Debbie Derryberry, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, geniuses know you need to have fun and follow your fandom. Got a blast!